Okay, so I want to talk a little bit and just introduce you to one of the main tools that we'll use in the discussion around fractions and um, it's called an uh, area model for fractions. And I think you'll also hear me call it a fraction bar. So and this idea is just to represent um, kind of an area, a, it really is a rectangular bar and we assume that it has area of 1, whatever units squared. Okay, so when I use this area model, for example, to draw a fraction, let's say I want to draw the fraction 1 half, I'll have a bar that looks like this, and the denominator tells me how many total pieces there are, and then you end up shading in the numerator, one of those. So this is a fraction bar that represents the fraction 1 half. Okay, uh, similarly if I want to do, let's say, two-thirds, draw the fraction bar, I have three total pieces, and I'll tell you, like I ballpark that, they should be, rel you know, approximately the same size, and then I'm going to shade in two of those. So it's a bar that represents two-thirds. Now, within each problem, there there is meaning to the length of this bar. So within a given problem, I need my bars to be about the same length. You can't be using bars of different um, widths to kind of represent the same unit, like one unit. So uh, will you guys keep that in mind? Do you see how these are... I mean relatively approximately the same size. I don't want to draw in the same problem kind of a two-thirds that looks like this. A and say that it's the same because the lengths here that I'm seeing, and this is what I mean like that one, is significantly longer than this one. So you really do use it to kind of compare. Okay, so let me draw, like, no, right? We don't want to do that. Okay, so the last part that I'll just mention is um, how we deal with mixed numbers in this model. And kind of represent them. So let's draw two and one third. So each one of my bars represents two, or represents one. So there's one bar. I need two full bars. And then I need a third bar to represent this one third. Something like this, and then you want to fill them in. There's one. There's two, and there's one third. Okay? Again, do you see these bars are all approximately the same length? Um, so I'm using them this length to represent kind of a unit of one. Okay, so can you just practice and just draw fraction bars for these fractions? One sixth, three fifths, and two and three fourths. And we'll start to use those more and more as we get into multiplication and division. Okay? Okay, let me know if you have any questions.